Today, PhoneScoop is taking a quick look at the Samsung Propel Pro, a Windows Mobile 6.1 messaging phone for the AT&T network. One thing you'll notice about the Propel Pro is that it's a slider. Uh, of course, it has a uh, full QWERTY keyboard. We've got several buttons here along the bottom that are uh, flush with the surface of the phone. The uh, end key, back key, home key, and uh, send key. We've also got two function keys here. Uh, we've got joystick type thing. The, uh, the joystick is definitely not my favorite uh, way to interact with any mobile device. And the joystick on, um, on this particular phone is uh, one of the poorer implementations of a joystick, I must say. It's just uh, it's a little oversensitive and you can easily scoot past menu items uh, as you're zooming around on the screen. Taking a spin around the rest of the hardware, we can see a dedicated power button here. We've got a volume toggle here, which actually feels quite good. Nice travel and feedback. We've got a hatch here for the micro uh, SD card. Nothing along the bottom. On the right, we've got a hatch covering the proprietary Samsung uh, charging and data port, as well as a dedicated camera button here. On the back, we can see uh, just the logo. We have to open the phone to see the camera with vanity mirror. Comparing it to the Blackjack 2, which is another uh, popular Samsung Windows mobile phone, you'll see it's, uh, it's a little bit longer when opened and shorter when closed. About the same width, uh, although it's uh, noticeably thicker uh, in this dimension. One thing to note uh, when you're looking at the keyboard, you can see that uh, Samsung has, uh, has designed a different style keyboard for the Propel Pro and quite honestly it's uh, leagues better than the keyboard on the, on the Blackjack. The Blackjack 2 did have a good keyboard but this is um, one of the better keyboards I've seen on any Samsung device. So it has, uh, has a good feel to it. The keys have a nice rounded feeling to them and there's great travel and feedback across the entire range of the keyboard. So that's the one uh, really big strength uh, with the Samsung Propel Pro, which you know for some could outweigh the you know poor uh, poor quality or working of the uh, the jo of the joystick. Beyond the hardware, we have a standard Windows Mobile 6.1 style menu system. It's got the uh, the newer uh, you know tab controls here. You can uh, zoom through all of your uh, quick notification things here on the front and uh, just quickly get a view of your messages and uh, your calendar appointments, uh, email and so on. Of course you can make adjustments to uh, different settings also quickly here from the uh, the main screen. One thing I noticed with the um, Propel Pro is that it had good signal performance. Uh, you can see we've got uh, three bars here in the basement and uh, taking it around the metropolitan New York City area I noticed uh, overall good signal capture quality. Uh, in, in hand in hand with that uh, 3G data is great. I had no problems at all connecting to um, to the internet. You know we'll fire up uh, MediaNet right now so you can get a look at that and uh, it'll jump to AT&T's home page. There's the AT&T home page, uh, which we can then use to navigate around to favorites. We look at our history and uh, other things we've done. Same browser as on other Windows mobile phones, uh, but with the 3G network, performance was, uh, was definitely good. Uh, the device has all the same messaging features that other Windows mobile phones have, so nothing new in that regard. And uh, of course, the uh, the main menu is is pretty much identical to anything else. Uh, it does have GPS, uh, which I found to work well, and uh, access to applications. So, um, you know, aside from the form factor, which is obviously a different one for Samsung uh, in a Windows mobile phone, it's um, you know, not much of a, not much to set it apart on the software side of things. The hardware is about the only thing that that sets the the Samsung Propel Pro apart from many other Windows mobile phones out there. Um, you know, it's it's a non-touch screen phone. You know, it's the, uh, the smartphone edition, uh, which some may prefer. Although I happen to prefer the touch screen version of Windows Mobile, and uh, you know, it may have a very good keyboard. 
but uh, the uh, the joystick uh, was a little bit less than uh, than ideal for navigating around the phone's menus and systems. But otherwise, it's uh, not not a bad phone at all if you're looking for a Windows Mobile device.